Hey, what's happening all you crazy internet people and welcome to yet another vlog. My name as always is Drake and today we are talking about quitting soda. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of background. Two weeks ago I got a Nutra Ninja blender with Auto IQ for the holidays. And I was really excited about it because it's something that I've wanted for a while, especially after my poor secondhand Jack LaLanne power juicer finally died after so much juicing and that was quite an adventure. But I finally have a Nutra Ninja. And it's amazing so far, like I've been using it for a, pretty much a week now, and it is fantastic. It does ex pretty much exactly what the commercials say, and I just, I've been feeling a lot better as of late. So, you know, I've been making a lot of smoothies with fresh produce, um, specifically, and as of late, like some bananas, oranges, um, I even made something with coffee the other day, almond milk, and I've been feeling pretty amped, like I've got energy. I want to do things. I've been thinking a lot more and thinking at kind of a higher level than I had been for a bit since it was break and I was kind of lazy, but I feel like this thing has really helped me to kind of revive myself, refresh, live up my life a little bit more each and every day. And I totally sound like an infomercial right now, but it is true. Um, but then comes yesterday. Yesterday was the day before the new semester started at school. So I was kind of having a chill day. I wanted to relax. So the next day, today, uh, I'm filming this one day in advance. That's a miracle. But yesterday, I decided to crack open a soda and I drink it and everything's fine for a bit. And then I start feeling really sluggish and shitty and I just, I was horrible. Like I just felt like I was being bogged down so much. And then I realized that this is probably the first soda I've had in a in a week because I've been drinking these smoothies. So then I got to thinking, you know, if this happens to my body when I drink soda, like I might not even be noticing it because I'm so used to it from drinking soda, but if I don't drink soda for a week and then I drink one and I just feel like utter shit, how can that be good for me? I mean, obviously soda is not really good for you. And people tell you that all the time, but I was looking into it and there are a few things that kind of concerned me, um, especially after I watched a documentary on refined sugars, which I believe is just called Sugar. You can find it on Amazon Prime at least, if not Netflix or Hulu or wherever else you find streaming video. But some of the things that soda does to you, you know, it can increase your appetite in a negative way. Instead of eating a healthy amount of food, you can be overeating, even binging, and it also, you know, just kind of bogs you down, makes you feel sluggish because of the sugars. It can increase your weight pretty significantly. I mean, I believe um, the last fact I read on that, over the course of a year, you can gain like 10, 20 pounds just from drinking soda on a daily basis, like one soda a day. And that is crazy to me because that cannot be good for your body. So I'm thinking, about all of this information as I'm reading it and I'm thinking maybe it's the year that I stop drinking soda. So I'm going to start kind of doing this where I am going to try and drink a smoothie every time I want to drink a soda. And hopefully by the end of 2016 I will have stopped drinking soda. I'm going to drink what I have here at the house just for the sake of not wasting it and I have no idea who would take soda. like. I feel like it's weird to just walk up to like a friend and say, hey, I've got all this soda, do you want it? Or like, hey, I'm trying to improve my life by getting rid of all this soda, do you want it? So I'm getting rid of the soda over time, I'm hopefully going to just stop buying it, cut it out of my diet, and just live a better life because I think the smoothies have really been helping me and I hope that that is the case because I feel like from how I'm doing it, I'm not even adding like sugar or anything. I'm using you know, straight up produce, fruits, veggies. Um, when I need like a sweetener, I'll use honey, raw honey, because that is amazing. I love bees. 
If you're interested in learning about some of the things that soda can do to your body, I have a link in the description from Eat This, Not That. You might be familiar with the books, but apparently they have a website and that is where I sourced my information for you guys. It gives you a pretty quick rundown of some of the bigger things that happen to your body when you drink soda. So if you're interested, take a look at that. But for now, let's move on to eyebrows. So as I was reading up on soda, I came across an article that was talking about how 2016 is going to be the year of bold eyebrows. Now this kind of made me giggle because, you know, it's kind of silly to think like the big trend of the year is eyebrows. You know, you think trendy and you probably don't think eyebrows. You're thinking maybe like designer purses, designer dresses, designer something, you know, like the new Jordans. But apparently, according to a couple of sources, as I read, eyebrows are going to be the big trend of 2016. And not just any kind of eyebrows, bold eyebrows, big, thick eyebrows, <laughs> big, thick, chiseled eyebrows. Chiseled is kind of a key word there because you can have thick eyebrows, my dentist has super thick eyebrows, and that's kind of weird because they look literally like caterpillars, but bold, chiseled eyebrows. So I mean, 2015 might have been the year that that eyebrows on fleek vine went crazy viral, and now everybody says on fleek, but 2016 is really going to be the year that eyebrows need to be on fleek. Ah, what am I doing with my life? Obviously, I need to get my eyebrows on fleek because otherwise I'm not going to survive this year. So remember kids, keep your eyebrows on fleek and never let them go not on fleek. Finally, to wrap things up, um, since I did say earlier that it is the first day of the new semester for me, um, it is actually the first day of the semester, the spring semester, for a lot of people. So I wanted to say happy spring semester. And hopefully for those of you who are in college, university, whatever it may be, higher education institution here, I hope you guys are starting off your semester on a great note. And I hope that you will be successful, happy, and just living your life to the fullest and achieving your academic and career dreams this semester because I feel like this is going to be a good semester for myself. I'm already excited about a lot of my classes. I've got a super, super great selection of technical classes and I am excited to be doing all the geeky stuff. I'm going to be learning how a compiler works for programming languages. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, you're awesome and I'm pretty stoked about that. But I think this is going to be a great semester. I hope it's a great semester for you guys. Obviously, I'm going to try and keep up as much as I can with videos because I'm aiming to make this semester my best semester yet. So if I feel like I can do it, I feel like you guys can do it. So let's do this together. Let's make it an awesome semester. Yeah, I'm just excited for the semester. So <laughs> call me a nerd or whatever, but gosh, come on. I really love learning and I hope you guys do too because learning is awesome. I'm actually going to try and learn Swift after I finish this video. With that said, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next, things you want to see me do, things I can change, things that can be improved, or things that you just want to see happen. And I will see what I can do to make it happen. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in for the next video.